Buffett. I travel around the world looking for amazing stories about ants. Biologist and nature photographer Mike Moffat uses his camera like a microscope. Ants vary a lot in the, the kind of weapons they use. And Moffat's photographs in the exhibit Farmers, Warriors, Builders, The Hidden Life of Ants capture the mundane and the dramatic aspects of their daily lives. Including the development of highways and the building of their cities, uh, the communication systems, the uh, detail in which they organize together, where they, they form teams and assembly lines, as people do in factories. Much like humans, ants are social creatures. The exhibit follows army ants making roads, Australian bulldog ants tending to their young, and honeypot ants preparing for battle. They actually have a ritual in which they circle each other, standing high on their legs and rotating in a circle around each other. And the colony with the shortest ants gets frightened and runs away. Although the photograph tells another story. One day I'm out there watching these ants and I see that one short ant climbs up on a pebble in this picture and freaks out the taller ant. Moffat tracks strange and rare ants. He often makes discoveries like the eating habits of a species of mud ant in Ecuador that he documents in the exhibit. These are the, perhaps the slowest of ants. They barely move all day. And I found that they eat snails. No surprise there. And the fun thing was that uh, here's a snail being chased by a mud ant, and then you see it's making a dramatic left-hand turn to make its escape. The Smithsonian exhibit includes an aluminum cast of an underground ant city and a living colony of harvester ants. But it's the photographs that captivate 11-year-old Kashmir Johnson and her mother Marjorie from Boulder, Colorado. They're hairy, and when you look at them up close, their eyes are freaky. Their legs seem a lot longer than I thought, because when you normally see an ant, they're so tiny, you just don't see these delicate intricacies. Mark Moffat hopes museum goers like the Johnson family will gain a new understanding of the importance of ants to the ecology of our planet. Getting those private lives up here at the Smithsonian where everyone can see them and forget that they're small but understand that they have their own, in a sense, their own passions and dynamics that lead to all kinds of things that we would recognize in our own lives. And perhaps Moffat adds, think twice before stepping on an ant, even if it's at a picnic. Yes, go marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. Roseanne Skirbel, VOA News, Washington. Hurrah. the ants go marching three by three, the